uh, course requirements and grading policies. Uh, so what is this class composed of? What grading components? First of all, the clan activity. This is really the centerpiece of the course in many ways. Uh, this is one collaborative assignment. You'll have to uh, work together. Uh, that you have to post to Canvas every Friday by midnight. Uh, this is worth 25% of your grade. Um, you'll be assigned to one of several permanent small teams, uh, two people per team. Uh, if you know uh, somebody else in the course you want to work with, please let me know and I'll put you together. Your team will invent and adopt a samurai clan identity during uh, the first, I uh, should say during the first week. Let's just fix that. Week uh, for your teamwork assignment, uh, which is due on Friday of every week, um, as it says above as well. Uh, you will be expected to carry out certain obligations as befits a samurai clan. Uh, you will create a uh, clan history as well, clan regalia, um, and uh, an overview, overview of this part of the course uh, is uh, actually not included at the end of the syllabus, excuse me. Um, basically, you will be provided uh, with instructions uh, during the first clan activity uh, session. Um, actually, it's already up on Canvas. You can look exactly to see what this entails. Um, but both members of a group will receive the same grade. Uh, so teamwork really does mean teamwork. Uh, and this every Friday, each team, each clan, will complete a uh, assignment uh, that will draw on the course lectures and the readings. And all of these must be completed. You can't skip one. So what's the point of this? Well, the point of this is samurai identified themselves with clans. Uh, family, in the extended sense, uh, meant something uh, very important to the samurai. Um, oftentimes their lives depended on how well they could trust their clan members, and <laughs> sadly that was often not at all. Um, so I want you to get a feel for working with a uh, permanent partner, to be part of a, a permanent um, uh, establishment like a clan and uh, to complete certain tasks that samurai during the medieval period, uh, during the early modern period, uh, that they would have recognized as important. And note it may become necessary to merge some clans if one person from any given clan drops the course. Uh, just think of this as another learning experience. Uh, clans often dissolved after being decimated in battle or due to various house disturbances. Uh, that, that was a very bad uh, word in samurai life, house disturbance, chaos. Um, and if there should be a clan of three people, um, we'll make that work as well. You will also have reading response essays, um, two pages maximum each, 30% uh, of the total. These are assignments that do teach you to uh, write succinctly. And uh, these will be short response papers to the readings, uh, which you will upload uh, to Canvas on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, uh, each time by a different member. Uh, once again, instructions exactly how to do this will be um, uh, provided in the instructions for the uh, first essay, um, but uh, to um, underline uh, something, uh, you will alternate days. Uh, these are uh, due on Mondays and Wednesdays. On Monday, one member of the group is going to upload, and on Wednesday, the other member of the group is going to upload, because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the person who did not write the essay is going to go through and correct it. Uh, I will provide feedback on the first drafts that were uploaded Mondays and Wednesdays, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays. The other person will have the benefits of my comments in uh, making the corrections. So it's really a collaborative writing process. Very much how Samurai operated. In fact, um, during uh, when Samurai became officials, basically gained political power, um, especially in the later period, it was the case that there were many more samurai to a single office 
uh, than there were uh, work spots available for them in the bureaucracy, it was very common for two or sometimes even three or four people to work on the same document and um, help each other out. Um, hopefully not uh, get in each other's way, although that certainly did happen. Uh, and uh, both members of a group will receive the same grade. So uh, one essay per person is excused, but all other essays must be completed. That is, you can choose to not upload once uh, on Monday or Wednesday, and then of course your uh, teammate also gets the uh, next day off, uh, but you can only do this once. Uh, and if you fail to turn in one of these, um, I'm afraid you can't pass the course anymore because we don't have a lot of time and we need to make the most out of what we do have. You will also have a thesis assignment, 5% um, of your grade, but you must complete it in order to pass the course and in a timely fashion. Um, you will basically turn in a thesis proposal uh, on Canvas on Monday, July the 3rd. I will grade and comment on it by the next day. This is for your final paper. Uh, so you will need to already know what you're writing about um, by July 3rd. And then on July 9th, you will upload the final paper. Um, you can, and I highly advise you uh, to talk to me while you're writing the final essay and this thesis, thesis assignment. Speaking of the final essay, this is to be six pages long. Once again, not very long. Uh, we are going for brevity and uh, packing as much analysis and evidence into um, as little space as possible. This is definitely going to help you in the long run. Um, I'm not sure what you'll be doing later in life, but you'll probably need to um, write at some point while doing it. And um, shorter is usually better. So uh, to be uploaded on Sunday, July 9th on Canvas, and I will provide you uh, detailed instructions during week four or even earlier than that. Um, certainly no later than uh, Monday, June 26. Uh, and then your uh, thesis assignment uh, must be uploaded on uh, July 3rd. Um, for this essay, uh, you will use the assigned readings uh, to create an original argument about samurai history. Uh, you must absolutely complete this assignment on time to pass the course. So again, detailed instructions uh, will be provided on Canvas. Uh, you can actually look and it, they will probably be up there already, uh, if not very, very soon. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, before, well before June 26. So uh, look for them towards the start of the course. Um, and uh, there is also a writing packet that I uh, uploaded onto Canvas, which tells you how to write history papers in general. Please familiarize yourself with that writing packet. More on that, uh, anon. I will send out emails about that as well. Uh, movie responses. You will have every week, as I said, a movie, uh, and we're going to use these movies as um, real sources on our present day engagement with samurai culture. So uh, please upload these every Friday by midnight, the same as your teamwork assignment. Uh, so you may want to be judicious with when you do this. You may skip one at no penalty and then uh, you really have to uh, complete all of the others in order to pass the course. Individual effort and participation. Yes, this is an online course and yes, you will be working in teams, but uh, it is possible uh, to gauge how much a student contributes to the overall success of the uh, of the group um, and even in any, many ways the online format makes that even uh, plainer to see. So if you are prepared, if you are for example asking and answering lots of questions, participating in teamwork, which uh, there is a way to, um, as discussed in the instructions, uh, there is a way to ensure that that does happen. Um, if you do well, basically your grade may be curved by one-third of a letter grade up. Uh, if you um, are 
doing okay uh, but not stellar it won't be curved and if you're doing uh, less than well um, even if you complete all of the assignments uh, you may get your grade grade curved uh, one-third of a letter grade down um, but I'm sure we don't have to worry about that uh, late assignment policy all late assignments will be penalized one-third letter grade per day and late assignments will only be accepted up to two days late and that is counting weekends uh, this may seem harsh but please keep in mind that we only have five weeks a very um, uh, shortened schedule and we really need to make the most out of all of the time that we have course schedule um, you uh, if there is an outline item uh, submit work during that time uh, but basically we are breaking up into five weeks and each one of these weeks is a oh, excuse me for that uh, each one of these weeks is a module on canvas you will have readings here textbook then the uh, either articles or primary sources and then a movie at the end every week there's a different movie every week there's textbook every week there are the other readings um, lectures posted uh, the staying power of the samurai which you've already seen that's basically the welcome lecture course introduction lecture we're in that right now excuse me uh, lecture two, the first samurai uh, and lecture three grasping for power begin pay war and early samurai culture uh, all of that is for this first week um, and on Monday June 5th uh, post responses to uh, well two of these articles uh, there is a question that I have put on canvas uh, please take a look at that post responses to these readings together one response for both of these um, Tuesday June 6th teammate revises responses uh, Wednesday June 7th post responses to the other two readings uh, that were not the textbook teammate revises responses the following day and Friday upload teamwork assignment one and upload movie response assignment one uh, this is how the week in general goes and during the first week we'll be talking about the hand period the start of samurai uh, well, the samurai and certainly also samurai uh, culture um, and week two Kamakura period we're going to be talking about the start of samurai political power uh, real lasting samurai political power week three Muromachi in the warring states period uh, we are going to be covering the fascinating fascinating period of uh, political disintegration civil war and reunification and then two weeks on my personal favorite of uh, the Edo period week four the early and middle Edo period and week five uh, late Edo and the end of samurai rule uh, where uh, we will also push a little bit into the um, the Meiji period starts in 1868 and is really seen as the start of modern Japan uh, by many well by most historians and these uh, two lectures dedicated to the Edo period will really explore what happens when you don't have war anymore but you have a warrior class in charge of an increasingly sophisticated uh, economy culture uh, where lines between status groups are becoming blurred when uh, Japan is uh, with a samurai in charge is learning how to navigate increasingly dangerous international waters and it's just delightful uh, so please look forward to that and then you'll have a final paper do upload it to Canvas by 5 p.m. Sunday, July 9th. Grading scale. This is the grading scale I use. Please consult it at your leisure. Um, and actually, I don't need this anymore because that's what this is. Grading scale by percent. Um, course policies. Attendance. So they're online course. Uh, we won't take attendance, but you must complete all work on time. Communicating with me. As I said, uh, use the uh, discussion board question and answer uh, section to post all of your class-related questions, unless there's something personal, uh, then email me. Uh, please allow 12 hours for responses, although really I will reply much sooner than that, um, unless I'm absolutely unable to. Uh, I will communicate with you about assignments 
class business by email, uh, and we'll also post messages on Canvas, um, whichever seems to fit the situation. Uh, please feel free to contact me with all concerns and questions, uh, and to contact me during virtual office hours through the Skype plugin on Canvas, or really on Skype, um, even if it's not integrated into Canvas. Um, and uh, I do highly, highly urge you to, um, to do this, to talk to me during office hours, because people who do uh, really uh, understand the material and get much better grades than people who don't. Uh, this has usually been the case and isn't, uh, this class is no exception. Procedures for inquiries on grades. Please wait at least 24 hours before contacting me. Uh, and if you'd like to request a grade change, uh, we can meet, uh, you know, online uh, to discuss your concerns. Uh, and uh, please have a copy of the assignment and a written explanation of why you think your grade should be changed. Uh, especially that, a written explanation. Um, frankly, if you go that far, then you've really put a lot of thought into why you think your grade should be changed. It's not a willy-nilly thing. It's basically when you think that I did not uh, assess something accurately. Uh, and if you take the trouble to do that, then that tells me, wow, this person's serious. Maybe I should change their grade. And that usually is what ends up happening. But you do have to write it out. Disenrollment policy. There's different dates for when you can withdraw and how that would be processed. Uh, please just check this section of the syllabus at your leisure. Of course, withdrawal information. Um, actually, this is the same, so I'm going to be deleting this. By the way, I'm making certain changes to the syllabus, as you can tell right now, and um, the changed version, that's what's going to be on Canvas. I might also make minor alterations to the syllabus later on during the semester. Course expectations, tips for success, basically pre be prepared. Um, those are really what the first two tips are. Uh, become comfortable with the software and the format. This is an online course, so that's very, very uh, necessary, actually. Um, get help. This is never a bad idea. Um, and I do encourage you to get help from each other, certainly. Uh, you can use the discussion board for that. Um, and I highly encourage you to do that. Uh, once again, contact the Writing Center if you want help with your writing specifically. And last, cite properly. Um, citations uh, are basically proof to historians. Uh, you are telling somebody where to find the information that you're basing your argument on, uh, and that always needs to be clear. So you need to cite everything that is not your own analysis. Uh, you can see this citation guide online, it's very handy, uh, and I do want you to use Chicago style citations. Uh, if you've never done this, no problem. Uh, the people at the Reed Library will be more than happy to help you. Um, you can just go there and ask them if you're in Durango, or you can call them if you're not. Credit hour, syllabus statement, three credit hours per week attending class. Uh, and uh, six hours per week of concentrated attention on course-related work. And this is uh, outside of class. And this is during a normal time. So it's uh, actually uh, very much condensed for uh, this five-week summer course. Basically three times condensed by a factor of three. Uh, five weeks in this course, 15 weeks in a usual course. Disability services. Uh, if you need any kind of accommodation, get in touch with Disability Services. Here is their phone number and academic integrity. Please do not plagiarize. Please do not cheat. Um, and um, if you really want to know what that is, and you really should, uh, you can uh, go here and you can see what the uh, policy on academic integrity is. Um, if you are caught cheating uh, somehow, uh, then um, I'm afraid you will not be able to uh, pass the course. But to end on a brighter note, uh, this is the intro. You now have all of the information you need to be successful in this course. Um, but, you know, uh, that's what I think right now. Of course, things will come up. They always do. Let me know, once again, on uh, the Q&A uh, forum or, if necessary, through email.